Hello guys, welcome back to a Solution Tips. This is Haris Muntasir back again with another video. In this video tutorial today, I will show you guys how you can set up WSL2, which has been introduced in uh, the current version of Windows operating system, that is uh, May 2020 update, or you can see the version 2004. So, uh, what is WSL? WSL is Windows subsystem for Linux, um, which uh, is used to uh, run a subsystem of uh, Linux operating system Linux distribution on your Windows PC now uh, Microsoft has uh, introduced a new update in May 2020 uh, which has addressed a few issues one of them was with the uh, WSL we'll talk about uh, that issue um, soon so first of all uh, to get started with WSL 2 you can you have to check out uh, your OS version it should be greater than um, 2004 or you can see the OS build um, so if you have uh, your version is greater than 2004 you can surely run WSL2 or um, uh, okay so now what you have to do is so you have to go to this setting page that is uh, turn windows uh, on and off okay you can see the searches are really fast in this version of windows once you open that page you uh, you can see we got this window up uh, all you have to do is to you have to scroll to the bottom and uh, check these boxes uh, one is windows subsystem for linux okay and uh, another one is virtual platform or virtual machine platform it is um, here it is okay uh, click on ok now once you hit on the ok button you uh, it will automatically search for some packages and install them you have to wait until then once that part is done and you have to restart your computer uh, once after the restart uh, all you have to do is to you have to open command prompt now in command prompt uh, you can simply type WSL I have already installed a package so I have to type WSL then help um, it will provide me the list of commands that I can use with WSL okay here is the list of commands that uh, can be used with WSL Windows subsystem for Linux Okay, the options are distribution, uh, run uh, the specified distribution if you have two or more distribution is installed. You can change uh, or run a distribution as some user. Also, you can use a list command to list all the distributions that you have installed. And also, you can use uh, import export uh, to import or export any distribution. Uh, we have the set default uh, option in here, which can be used to set default uh, and distribution. And we also got this uh, option in here which is uh, going to be addressed in this video which is set default version uh, so this option can be used to change the default version of WSL we are using currently now uh, you can see I have uh, installed one distribution that is Kali Linux I can type in WSL then uh, space a hyphen and L you can see the Kali Linux distribution which is default as uh, I have only I have only one distribution in a solve now type in WSL then a space then double hyphen then you have to type set then a hyphen oh sorry then default then again a hyphen and then a version type in version then a space and type in the version you want to use like i'm going to use uh, in this video the version 2 that is uh, wsl2 now before you see this message uh, which is for information on key differences uh, you can see it provides this link to uh, the page where differences between wsl1 and wsl2 are uh, shown or displayed before you see this message you have to update the core you, uh, the link will be given as uh, it is given for this uh, message you have to download this package and update the core of WSL2 once you download that package and install it you have to repeat the same command in here once you repeat the command you will surely see this message now you are using WSL2 instead of WSL1 
WSL uh, 2 actually uh, optim is optimized, uh, really optimized for the best performance of Windows operating system. In WSL 1, uh, WSL 1 used to increase the usage of, uh, increase uh, the RAM based on the usage. Uh, but in WSL 1, it never restored the RAM back to the system. Um, but that issue is addressed in WSL 2. It automatically restores the RAM once the apps are closed or the WSL is closed. Now one more thing we got in this version of Windows other than fast searches and WSL2 is that uh, we can uninstall Notepad, uh, Paint and uh, other related few things which are now optional. And also you can see the Cartana, we can unpin it from taskbar. Uh, and also we have got dedicated Cartana app which means uh, it's now updated through the Windows Store and uh, we can get more updates for Cartana. Okay, let us uh, click on the Cartana button. One more interesting thing about Cartana is that it has got a dedicated window now. You can see we got a window popped up once we tap the Cartana button. You can see uh, it's still in beta, you have to sign in to use Cartana. It will surely get updates from uh, Windows Store. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you find this helpful, please like, share and also subscribe to channel solution tips. For more videos like this, keep visiting and do watch other interesting videos.